So, uh, just took the car out on drag radials. Um, I'm all sweaty, tired. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Yeah, I uh, wanted to practice some launching and some passes and stuff. I've never been on the drag radio. I've never launched the car. This morning at about 5 a.m., um, I lined up with a automatic 5th uh, Gen Camaro, the A6. And the first race we did at Dig, and he is cammed and full bolt-ons and stuff. They said he dynoed 451 and 430 torque. And... Uh, he got me on the dig, I spun my ass off. <laughs> then the second race we did was a roll, uh, second gear. I got the fuck out of him on that. And then uh, the third one, he jumped me, and we were pretty much even. I might have been pulling him back a little bit. And you know how Hemis are, as soon as they start to get hot, you kind of lose all your uh, momentum. So then uh, we did two more runs, and they were pretty much even, whoever got the jump. But I was still hung up about that damn uh, that damn dig race. So I went to my buddy's house and grabbed the drag radials, which I'll show you here in a second, and uh, decided to give it some uh, give it some practice. And uh, <laughs> it was pretty interesting. So I I think I'm gonna take the um, that little restrictor bleeder thingy out that uh, restricts the flow. I think it's making it hard for me to slip the clutch the way I need to and then still have it fully engaged without continually uh, causing it to slip. So anyway, so that, that's where I'm at right now. Um, I'll post up two runs I did. Uh, the first run was a full eighth mile pass. The second one was just screwing around, um, coming back towards the cameraman there was a semi at the spot and uh i like really safe spots where there's no one around and i saw the semi pull in so i went down there and talked to the dude beforehand and told him what we planned on doing and he said shit man i love racing he said uh hell yeah just don't hit me and i'm good and then when we were done i went down there i was like how'd it sound you know it was bullshitting with him and uh he asked me to do a pass the other way past the truck so he could hear it and had his girl on uh facetime so <laughs> cool guy man but uh yeah so let me show you these drag radials and i'll show you what i'm dealing with they're still 20s but it was a night and day difference so i ain't letting that damn camaro get me again but i also like to point out that uh that camaro is like 3800 pounds the driver was shit 210 and uh i'm about 300 pounds and challenges are fat what are we like 4180 so being is on the rolls, we were right there together, and or I was pulling a little bit when I was cool. It says my shit's making some power. I've never been on the dyno. I still have more room to go, so I'm happy with it. <laughs> and these are the wheels. Uh, these are actually used on my sister's car originally. Uh, they're just her old stock 20s that we keep around, but my buddy owns them now, so I still got my silver ones up front. They are the Nitto 555 Extremes, the 305s, and uh, see it's picking up shit off the road. They did pretty damn good, I'll say that much. Um, but I need to work on being able to slip the clutch the way I need to and then get it to grab. It was <laughs> hooking so hard that if I launched it too high and tried to slip the way I wanted to, it would almost pull through the clutch, and then if I didn't do it enough it would kind of bog like it's I, I really think it's that that the deal inside the the clutch line they make it so you can't drop the clutch and shock the system well i wanted to be able to grab like that so i got to get rid of that shit i don't plan to just drop the clutch you know so i think we'll be all right here but anyway here's the pools enjoy uh yeah i think the motherfucker sounds good too tell me what you think